Hey guys, it's Ben here. Today I'm going to talk about distributors. Um, we're getting a few questions about this. What is a distributor? Do I need one? What's the best one? So I thought I'd just do a quick video to answer all those questions. So obviously everyone in this group is at different stages in their career. Some of you have put out your music on Spotify, Apple Music and all that kind of stuff. So you know what a distributor is. But for everyone else, um, you know, obviously I want, you know, to, to appeal to all the group here. I thought I'd just start from the beginning and work through, um, you know, all the information that you'll, that you'll need. Um, so a distributor is essentially a third party that you have to go through to put your music out into the streaming world to be heard on things like Spotify, Apple Music, all that kind of stuff. So in really simple terms, if you've got the artist here, this is you, you then submit your songs to a distributor and then the distributor puts your music out onto all the platforms. So all of Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Deezer, whatever it is, that's what the distributor does. They get your music out onto those services. Now, do you need one? Yes, you do. Um, as far as I'm aware, I don't know how to be your own distributor and it sounds pretty complicated, so I'd advise to just use, you know, <laughs> a one that's, that, that's what their job is to do. Now, which one is the best one? I have personally used probably the most popular three, which is TuneCore, DistroKid and CD Baby. Um, what's my opinion on the best one? I think the best one is DistroKid. Uh, the reason is I think it's just a more, I think when you get in on it and you can see all your music and how much you're earning, I just prefer the layout. Plus they actually do it on a percentage rather than you pay like a monthly or a yearly or quarterly fee to put your music out. So if you're looking at putting out more than one album and doing this as a career, I think DistroKid is better. An example of why I think it's better is recently, I, I do have some stuff still on TuneCore that I'm moving over slowly at the moment. Um, and you know, today, or was it today or yesterday, I got an email saying that, you know, one of my releases is up for renewal and I have to pay like 60 pounds to put it out again. It's fine, you can do automa automated payments and all that kind of stuff, but you know, the reason why mine didn't go through is because I got a different card. Now let's say that I've been, I'm out on a tour or even on holiday and I'm like, I'm not looking at my laptop for a couple of weeks. So I do do that, I take breaks and I try to come off social media and all that kind of stuff. You imagine if you suddenly were like, oh, I'm gonna take a break and then your payment doesn't go through for whatever reason and then your songs get pulled off, you know, Spotify and stuff, that would really suck. So personally, I would advise DistroKid, I think it's the best one. Um, and as I say, they just take a percentage and it's out there forever. Oh, in terms of actually using a distributor, like how you do it, it's free to set up. You can set up on your own profile. Just maybe do a bit of research if you wanna you know, read any reviews and stuff. As I said, if I were you, I would just use DistroKid. It's really easy to set up a profile. You can just go on there, do it in five minutes, and then you can just put your music out on your own record label, which is pretty cool. So uh, that's a bit of distributor information for you. If you have any questions that I haven't covered, Comment in the section, I'll get back to you.